have, and it's it's been the most fascinating. Like 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 what has happened in my life? What what? Uh, let's get this out again. Give, give, give me give me one second, please. What a um. What is a uh, what has happened? What has happened? I'm talking about like, 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 it is, oh my gosh, like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But it's like, it's like God is like, 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 it's beyond, it's beyond, I can't explain it. I want to explain it, but I can't. And it's like, he's done something. He's done something that, 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 that it's unique. It's rare. It's hard to find. You don't just find this anywhere. You can't just buy this at the corner store. You can't just order this on Amazon. You can't just drive into a neighborhood and find this house. You can't just, you know. You don't just get this because you're cool and a hard worker. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and I and, I, and I'm finding I have this new barber. Barbara, Christian Barber, they're going to cut my hair. And I'm, I'm thinking about going to barber school and start cutting people's hair for $5 a, a cut. See, if you can learn a skill and do you know how many... Okay, let's see. The Lord's given me financial power. Remember the Bible tells you it is He, it's God that teaches you how to profit. Now this stage, this gentle calming stage, I want to be in it more. I want people to see that. I want the other one to be more too. You know, God is such a sensitive spirit. You know, when you get when I get deep in his spirit, I don't talk a lot. I just start shutting because because he's so sensitive. And when you realize how sensitive he is, like you don't even want to talk. Like let somebody else preach. Like let, let if I'm the pastor of my church, let me go sit in the back and clean toilets and let the next qualified man preach. Because when you get on this level, when you get on this level with God, um. He's so sensitive and so potent that you don't even want to talk. Like, so just go sit in the back of the, even though you're the pastor of the church, you, you get somebody that's qualified. You get your senior pastor to preach for you and you just sit in the back and just reverence and worship. And then I want to start meeting like, like, other men of God and taking pictures and giving them interviews and talking about what I learned from them. Do you know by me talking about God in this place, the whole, this whole neighborhood is blessed. This entire street is filled. I can see, I'm, I literally can see angelic beings in this neighborhood and the glory this golden electricity dome looking thing covering this atmosphere. Oh my gosh. Do you know the more you expand in God, everybody benefits from it? Your expansion can reach a vicinity where neighborhoods are protected because of your growth. Before a hundred people were covered by you. Now a, th a thousand people are covered by you. Now ten thousand. This is when you expand in the things of God. And I can literally see this dome over this place. And these angels and, and seraphims and, ch and just cherubims and just, it just, it's so wonderful, it's so wonderful. But listen. Let me get back over here. There's this one African... Um, Apostle, I love to watch. He's my favorite. I, know, I don't know if you're not supposed to have favorites. He's my favorite because every time I listen to him, I just feel the, sp I just feel God just just exploding in me. All the whole, there's not one of his videos that are boring. Or like I already know this. I don't understand how he's walking. Or maybe I shouldn't say that because the Bible says those that seek the Lord understand all things. But but he pray. He's always praying in the spirit, and he's doing this because you know it's hot in church. So I, and I try to imitate that because I'm so in, I'm so fascinated by his spirit. 
I'm so in love with his Holy Spirit. I'm so in love with his ministry. And I just, I, I, I kind of want to be like that. He's like, Dorama Korasa. He prays with passion in the spirit. He's like, Dorisanda Praka, Rosanda Ra. And then he's, the oracle. And then he's talking about the Bible. And I love it. I love it. I want to, I want, I want, I want to, you know, I want that. I want that. I want that. God will give you what you desire. Okay. And, um, oh yeah, I took a shot of this apple cider vinegar mixture and it just cleared up my conscience, cleared up my, uh, in his side, just cleared through sinuses. But through sowing these seeds, pouring out my bank account, I've gotten permanent results. And it's it's so staggering to my conscience because it has completely refurnished my life. It has reestablished it has established my life into such a countenance of God's glory and him beholding me in his arms and I know I'm close to the Father. You know, I'm on this earth. I have this life and I have these little excitements. And these little excitements that I have are important to God. He takes delight in them. Remodeling my car. Renovating my life. Upgrading. And the more I learn, the more I earn. The more I grow, the more I flow. And I just feel God want, wants me to work on my prophetic designs. I'm doing these prophetic designs. They're the quotes of life. Because I've discovered in life, quotes are some of the most powerful books you'll ever look upon. Pinterest is a powerful app. To look upon divine pictures and divine wisdom, to gaze upon it, it'll accelerate and change your life beyond imagination. So I'm working on that. And it's going to be beautiful imagery. It's going to be poetic in design. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to elaborate the Holy Spirit. And it's going to be all displayed in this application that can't be deleted. And I'm so passionate about photography. I actually have a certification in online photography. $750 paid off. I completed the education system. It's mine, and I have access. And I really want to travel and take pictures. And I want all these departments to be attuned to this channel and enter here and tell you the wisdom that I've received from these activities. So, uh, I expect, and I'm trying to change up my words. Instead of saying want, I expect. Wanting is saying I'm not having. Expecting is demanding the results that are already mine. I expect my life to be more photographic. Photographic. Photogra I expect new creation, chemicals and modules and juices to flow in me. I'm gonna start. See, I feel I feel empowered when I say that versus want. When I say I, I know, see, I just notice that when I say I want, I don't really feel the. But when I say I expect, I feel empowered. I feel to, I feel God much more when I use that word. One word can change your life. One word you use in your sentence can change the results you get, the joy you have, the peace you have. And I want to be a life. I also have a, a a degree in life coaching. You know, I've been working on this supernatural education system behind the scenes. Ain't really talked about it. It's life coaching. And I want to become a life coach. A Christian life coach. You know what? I'm thinking about starting another business. I have a... And I feel I feel God. You, you know, sometimes to activate God, you just got to speak. You just got to talk. And it will happen. It's that simple. Forget all the complex... You know, we talk about spiritual law, spirit... But... If we can just keep it simple where anybody can get it, if you would just talk about what you're seeing, about what you're feeling, 
it would happen. So I, so the Lord showed me, oh my gosh. So when I, when I get the first card, the cleaning, the cleaning ministry, it's called Organic Cleaning Company. I'm going to do Christian life coaching. People can call me. And the qualification is I'm devoted to Jesus and I'm devoted to transforming people's lives. That's the qualification. I'm going to build I'm going to have two businesses like that. And I ain't got to have I ain't got to spend any money at all. I don't have to spend $500 a month on rent. I don't have to do none of that. If you could learn to take advantage, nowadays in life, you can have do so much for free. And if you're not taking advantage of that, I think God will hold you accountable. I believe, I believe with all my heart, if I don't take advantage, I said advantage. That sounds like a protege word. Protege. If uh so if I don't expand multiple businesses in one, in one flow, I believe when I have the knowledge to, I believe I see, I believe accountability is somewhere in between of the knowledge you possess. So when you possess more knowledge, there's there's accountability level there. There's a structure called accountability. And God's ex, God's going to hold you accountable. He's not going to punish you, condemn you, cut your head off, but he's going to hold you accountable if you're not acting on this knowledge cuz knowledge isn't just for you to be smart. God give knowledge has a purpose. Money has a purpose. Okay, you don't just okay, and I talk about this a lot. I want to talk about fresh things, but I just I just I just can't stop talking about God. And um so, it's going to be a life coaching business. And the Lord showed me these other um, businesses, but he's like, before you really even worry about them, let the fame increase here. Let the viewership increase here. Promote this channel. He showed me that. Because if you have the if you have the people, then you can lead them. But if you don't have people, how are you going to lead them to this website? Lead them here. Lead them there. Lead them to this health store. So the Lord's showing me all these wealth systems of life. And he's showing me in such an amazing way. <sighs> oh, God. I'm back. I'm like literally like. We have two elixirs, two um, detox manufacturing abilities that are occurring in our spirit. So at my new job, I got two jobs now. I want as many jo I want as many jobs, as many functions, as many roles to operate in the kingdom of heaven as I can. This is where I will experience the length of days and the ancient of days. Potency power. Hallelujah, right? So tap into that. We tap into that. And, um... See, if you see it as, oh, I'm going to have to work, I ain't got enough time, you're, you're, you're not seeing properly. You're not, because you don't see like the supernatural, you don't walk like the supernatural, and you don't breathe like the supernatural, right? Okay. Okay. And I love it because God will use every turn, every way. Like when you haven't had something for so long and you get it, you're so hungry for it, you're so stirred about it, you're so excited. But even when you haven't had that thing, God will allow you to have all of this. Then he'll allow you to have all of this. Then he'll allow you to have all of this. And even though you didn't really have that thing, when you get it, you now have all these things to add to that one thing. Now you have 10 times more, three times more, four times more all. Because he's the overhaul God. You know U-Haul, overhaul? He's the overall overhaul God. He comes through with packages. And I just see him with a truck and just dropping off gifts, packages. And But this is the thing. This is the secret. He's dropping off all these gifts and packages, but only those that see them, that are aware of them, that know they're worthy because of the blood of Jesus, are going to get them and open them. So other people are going to walk past them, deny them. You know how many people there's gifts and people deny them, walk by them because they don't see them, reject them because they say they're not worthy, they're self-defeated, I'm not worthy, I don't deserve that. And so they're all these gifts, but the ones that recognize, understand, and this is the thing, the ones that have the gift, they're going to share it with those people. Okay, when they begin to recognize, when they begin to understand their worth by you wording it to them, then you're going to share this gift and even more. That's how we does it. We don't ever lack or deny people. If we're gaining because we have knowledge, we always go to them people when we feed them people. The shepherding power is a feeding power. You know, when you walk in the shepherding power, 
you walk in the feeding power. God gives you, see, when you walk in different powers, God gives you different responsibilities, attributes, powers, anointing, and pour, and flow. And it's so exciting because you're like, wait a minute, what is this flow of God? This is a new, I'm seeing new things in the spirit. I'm seeing, I'm feeling God in a different way. And it's so exciting because, and there's a newness and you can connect all these newnesses into your daily operation. You know how much activity you can have in your daily operation, but you got to start walking in the supernatural. You can't be, I'm only bound. I only have 24 hours. That's all going to bind you. Okay. Okay. Because in one minute, God can expand you in 30 years of revelation. In one minute, God can cause you to walk. There was this one guy, he said the angel came to him, the angel stopped time. And even though he was preaching the gospel, he left his body and the angel stopped time and then literally stopped time, froze time. And then he began to show him hell and how Satan was strategizing. And he began, so we have, this, this is supernatural stuff we have access to. Just have to believe it and you can walk in it. These signs will follow them that believe, okay? Simply believe. He ain't asking for an education. He's asking you to simply believe. It's a choice. It's a choice power. So we can do that. And as I learn to step in and out of time, you know, there's so much about the kingdom of heaven I don't know. And I think the more I humble myself, God reveals more to me. But the more I try to be staggered and power and just all amped up, like, you know what I'm saying? I believe that I'll get the energy, the strength, the empowerment, but I won't really get that. I think God, God needs me to humble myself. So, if this, if I, if whatever He, what, and see, a lot of times I don't ask Him to use things to humble me. But if I would start asking Him, use this person to humble me, use this person to humble me, He would give that person a power. See, now the Father is showing me when you pray for certain things, it'll make people more powerful. So now I'm gonna start praying, use this person to humble me, use this person to humble me, and then God will give that person a power, and it will humble me. And yeah. See, I'm learning how to change and extend and expand people's lives more just by using my asking power. Asking you shall receive. Asking and receiving isn't separated. Asking and receiving is boyfriend and girlfriend, wife and husband. Asking and receiving is the intimacy. Okay? Now, what you do with what you've received, that's the secret and the key most people don't teach you. Most you, you, you won't find in a lot of books. See, you receive the moment you ask. But, and then there's a reception. You've conceived. Okay, but what do you do with that baby? What do you do with that newborn ideal? What do you do with that newborn ability and power of God? That's what they don't teach you, okay? See, we're here to uncover surface level stuff, okay? We're here to wipe the dust off and show you the pristine diamonds of the things of God. Hallelujah, okay? Again, I talk about this. I tell people, anybody can go to a church on Sunday, hear people talk about the Bible, hear people say Jesus and hallelujah, 30, 30 minutes of worship. But can, but but who's teaching these people the supernatural? Who's, who's teaching these people like the actual dynamics of God? And I'm not hating. I'm just talking. You know, the, this job I've been at for three years, it's made my communication skills so swole. I'm like, you know how they got them bodybuilder weightlifting um, um, awards to the greatest bodybuilders? Well, my tongue is a bodybuilder. See, my communication is my language. My language, that's my, that's my everything. That's the word of God. And so now that I have that, and one of the things that we lack in life is communication. You know the most devastating, depriving thing in life is we hold on to things and don't talk about them. That is the most, and I need to make, I'm going to write a book on this. I'm going to, I'm I got to get, see, I got, when you got this knowledge, you're not worried about making money anymore. You got to get this. You got to get people to get this. If I got to do a kindergarten play and cover it with wisdom and knowledge, if I got to create a video game that's fun and, see, if you got to be, if you got to have fun and excitement to get into the position where you're going to receive, I'll make you, I'll give you fun and excitement. If I got to, if I got to get you into a violent atmosphere to prove to you what you're doing is wrong, I will get you to that atmosphere. I will find a way to get people to receive the truth. And this is called the divine strategizer. It is an ability and gift from God. My meditation has become sequential. And what I mean by that is, it's no longer just, oh, I'm meditating because I know I'm going to feel God. I'm meditating because it's healthy for me. No, I get the sequence events and turns of the spirit realm as I meditate. I get the revelation and the knowledge and the exact point of, ah, trans what transform, the actual emotion of transformation, the actual seal of God's transforming power itself. Itself, not just, oh, this makes me feel good. I'm gonna go, you know, no, no, it's much deeper, much deeper, much more vibrant, much more wise, much more mature than it has ever been, my son. Hallelujah. Oh, I love Jesus. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. And, and, and um, you know, you know, see, see, it is a public, it is a, it's a, see, 
Oh, Jesus. Now, now I'm starting to see. Now secrets are beginning to formulate around me, and I'm starting to see this mathematical algorithm code of the Bible, of the Word of God, of Yahweh, of the Torah, of Moses, of the sacredness, of the tabernacle, of the 40 days in Jesus, the 40 days of Moses, and the goat and the land, the promise, the wilderness, the revelation, the Genesis, the Exodus, the exercise, this absolutely in the Jewish, in the Hebrew, in the calendar, in the universe, in the spectrum. I'm starting to see it now. It just goes off like a it just goes off like flickers like light blah 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 and I'm able to put it together really quickly really quickly really quickly really quickly which gives me the design of God and which gets I see these garage doors opening up and all this light coming see you must know a lot of times you have a vision and you'll see light but as you mature you'll know the reason of its light you'll know the person of the light. You'll know, you'll begin to see a lot of times the supernatural, it, just, it all just seems white. It's white, transcendent, translucent. It's just white and it's just golden. But that's because you haven't matured. And see, right now on earth, you know, that's a flower, that's a car, this is metal. But, oh, Jesus. But as you mature in the spiritual things, before first you'll just see light. But then you'll begin to see the face of the light. You'll begin to see the appearance of the light. And the more you walk in the supernatural, you'll be like, okay, that's God, that's Michael, that's Uriel, that's Metatron, that's, um, that's Alpha, that's the Ancient of Days, that's the Temple, that's Wisdom. That's You're no longer... You're no longer basing things, things. It's living thing. It's living life in heaven. So it's not, it's not, this is transformation. This is transportation. This is divinity. This is God. This is the fourth portal. This is the 55th dimension. And so, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Can, can I please tell you something? I'm going to tell you this five more times. If you would learn how to use your mind, let me tell you, that, and I, if you would, if you can get this, if, if maybe you think I'm crazy. I don't care. Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't care. But if you can just get this one thing from me, this one thing from this video, this three hour, whatever, 10, 20,000 hour video, if one thing, and let me just say it to you and I'm going to shut up and I'm going to keep growing. I ain't talking right now. I'm growing. You see, you want to talk and you're trying to use your mind, but just move, growth, speak, flow, rain, revelate, be. Domain, capacity, okay? So words, see, 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 words unlock the tower of the actuality of the electricity of God. We try to explain in sentences, but if you just begin to uh, demonstrate with the word power, then you would tap into the power itself, and then you would begin to flow in such a, ah, uh, not non, what is it, non, non denominational, that is the sensation of the flow of the escalation, the exclusia the pasture of the passage where the wilderness of the lamb was laid before the foundation and the earth of the sequence when he was connected to the cross by the south wind and the north wind and the north brain and the faith and then the sequences of it were the separations of the unit okay so we can, we can get into that stuff right now we got to see so you tap when I, when I tap into this realm I, I get into this I get into this maze I decipher it I decode it I unfold it I give it to the hand of this angel and then I decipher this I decode this I give it to this hand of this angel they unfold the scroll I begin to speak what the scroll is saying and I begin to speak what the scroll is saying and then I begin to unify another angel comes with brilliance and it shows me the key to the tabernacle to the labyrinth of the throne and then I pour out God direct from himself not a different manifestation of third party wisdom but direct from God himself I pour out okay so let me tell you this and I'm, I'm gonna say I just feel like I don't know if uh, you know what I'm saying I want to I want to make sure I'm being led by the Holy Spirit but but if a guy if you don't want to talk about it but I just just listen listen if you would learn how to use your money to give let me say it as simple as I possibly can. To give, to, 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 to give into the kingdom of God. You would, first of all, because I know the first thing, it's a fear-based thing. Well, how am I going to have more money? First of all, you would have, I cannot tell you. All the times I poured out my bank account, people just gave me $50. People just gave me $20. He just gave me, he gave me 10, he gave me 20, he gave me 50, he gave me 75, he gave me 30. I got to tell you how just money just started pouring out on me. Money just started falling from the sky every single freaking time. So get that fear out your mind. Now listen, if you would just learn... Sow into the kingdom of God, big time. What is what does the Bible say? What what does it say? I don't know what the Bible says. You're the preacher. Tell me. Okay. Those that sow sparingly. Now this there's we're gonna break this down. Okay. Well, I love Jesus. I feel so sensitive to God right now. I don't wanna I don't wanna like I don't even wanna talk anymore. But I'm gonna keep talking because I'm so in love with God and I'm so sensitive to His presence and I'm so sensitive to the Holy Spirit. I I don't wanna I don't wanna like you know if 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 I get if I have a wife and I start choking her and just could bite like that'll hurt her. But I have to be gentle with her. But at the same time I have to find to be violent. But I have to find a way to be gentle. But I have to way to be find full force. But I have to find a way to be soft. But I have to find a way to be. And so if I can do that and I can do that and I can do that, yeah 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 yeah. So listen. There's, there's the pressure of this atmosphere is causing me to expand. It's a good thing I don't have the AC on. I'm not having the AC on anymore. 
we're on a new level with God. I don't need the AC. I need I need the Holy Spirit. I I don't see before. I don't need AC. I don't. I need the Holy Spirit. I don't need AC. I need expansion. I don't need to feel good. I need the Spirit of God. This is a different level of desperation. But look. Dark forces are being eliminated. What's the Bible say? If you sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. If you sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. This is the secret. The more you see, listen, just 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 listen. The less you give, the less you get. The more you give, the more you get. You keep trying to save your money. Yes, you save money. The Bible tells you. The Bible tells you, but you keep trying to save all your money. But if you would give more, you would get more. More opportunity. More wealth opportunity. More promotion. More blessing. And one thing I've learned in my Christian life, if I ain't learned nothing else, besides being intimate with God, not chasing to be the most powerful man alive, when you learn how to give up your money, sow into the kingdom, that's, if I ain't learned nothing else, I've learned that principle. Okay? And my life has only gotten richer, richer, and richer. And a lot of times it has nothing to do with a green piece of paper. I know I told you this testimony story many times. There were six months of my life. I was on the streets. I had nowhere to go. This pastor woman picked me up out of nowhere. She said, God told me to come here today, and we came here for you. Six months. I had zero. I, I sold a $600 seed from my PayPal account because I had a YouTube channel, a gaming channel. I, I was getting millions of views, lots of money. Gave up all that money. For six months, I had zero dollars in my bank account. I slept on a king-size bed. I ate the finest feast all day. I was given the most nicest clothes. I was, I was, I can't tell you, but I had zero dollars in my bank account, but I was living like a king. Okay. I was giving up my money. I was giving up my money. So when all the money I... Oh my God. I know this will not be in vain. I know when I go to the kingdom, God will see this. And I'm, it excites me because I don't want God to be upset with me. I don't act like I'm anything. I know that God, even though God is a God of love, he is a God of judgment. He is also a God of wrath. And I know God is going to deal... I, I know God's going to deal... Oh, let me turn... Why is that light on? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And even though God is a good God, I know he doesn't play games. So I, f I truly fear God. I fear God. I don't fear. I'm not afraid of the devil. I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of demons. I'm, I fear God, though. So I was giving up all my money. Yet I, I had the highest level of entertainment, the highest level of production, the highest level of joy. And I, and I was getting over four to eight hundred dollars worth of food every month. I was getting so much organic food. So much food. All the, I was eating so much, it didn't make sense. I was buying everything I wanted, yet I somehow I was giving up all my money um, when I had this job. But I was buying everything. I, I was buying way more what I wanted. Clothes, books, f uh, clothes, books, entertainment. More than I could even handle. So much that I still to this day, I haven't read it all. I haven't ever even been able to. Like I have a, a mountain that I've probably given away of stuff. So much stuff. And I was getting $400 to $800 worth of food a month. Or $500 worth of food a month. Organic, all this sausage, all this, all this good food, all this, all this, all this, all this. And I was, and I was just interceding. I can give you testimony after testimony after testimony after testimony, okay? I'm telling you. I've been purchasing eternity. I've been purchasing realms in eternity through spiritual currency. Remember, if you learn how to use your physical mind, remember, and, I, and then I'm gonna be quiet after this, because if you can get this one key, this one principle, I promise your life, your life will become so supernatural. And it's not easy to do when you base it off the flesh. Because it's about the sacrifice. A sacrifice will always get God. It's attention. So, let me tell you. We'll keep going. Um, oh yeah, I feel the Holy Spirit. Like I see this new cell phone. God wants me to get a new cell phone. 
And he says, he said, because he's gonna start, he's gonna start stepping up my production, my my speech, my communication, my, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be able to, ex I'm gonna be able to expand more. And I want to meet. I expect. I'm start. I'm gonna start I'm, from now on. I'm gonna use the word expect. And the Lord told me you'll get more results. He told me, you know, I know you use the word want, that's how you, but when you use that word, it actually kind of hinders me a little bit. He told me that. I expect um, to meet new people. I want to help them. I want to be a person that, 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 that launches people into their dreams, that gives people a hope, that gives people a peace in Christ. I want to do that. I want at least, uh, this next year of my life, I want at least a million souls. That's my plan. One million souls. And what do I mean by that? Whether I touched them with the word of God, whether I gave them some money and the Lord used it, whether I bought them a piece of bread and they encountered God that day, whether I took them somewhere, only met them one time, but told them about Jesus. As long as I tell them about Jesus, then I've, I've done my part. That's good. Because that's going to last in their mind forever. The truth. But I want to tell, I want to, in, in this ministry, I want this to reach at least 100,000 people in the next six months. I want at least 100, I have, I think I have 50,000 views. I want at least 110 to 150, I expect 110 to 150,000 views within the next six months. That's 150,000 souls. And, um, and I want to have prayer rallies where we don't just pray for ourselves, we pray for the government. We pray for we pray for the world. I want to have worldwide prayers. I want to start doing worldwide prayers where we pray over the earth. We pray over the we pray over all the governments, all the presidents, all states. We pray over everything. I want it to be called worldwide prayers. Instead of the worldwide web, I want it to be worldwide prayer. WWP. I want to start a new internet off that where people just come. Okay? Because there is expansion and there's launching. God can expand you where you're at, but he can also launch you into a new terrain. And I do, I see it now in the spirit. I see God's hand, this like dark void, but electricity in it. But like I'm entering into this and I want to build, I see like this phone and this app I'm working on and it's a knowledge app. It's just the knowledge of life, the knowledge of life. And I just put all the knowledge on this app and there's a light version, but then you got to pay $1.99 to unlock more. And then as you go deeper, you unlock more. Because I want to utilize every, all the power of technology to spread the gospel. I want to utilize all the spiritual technology within me to experience God. I want to be seen from heaven as a utilizer. I utilize all opportunities and, and just like where he says, whatever you find to do, do it with all your heart. I want to apply that no matter what I feel, no matter if I'm tired, I just got off another job. Oh, this other job. I don't know if I told you this new job. This guy loves God. He's always talking. He talks about Jesus. He's the manager and he owns different um, um, gyms and fitness companies and he, or places. And he's just talking about Jesus, the Holy Spirit. He said, the Holy Spirit told me to come and talk to you. Okay, that, that, uh. And I'm going to be working out physically. And. But I know that presentation and introduction is important. So I see now I'm going to add this presentation 
to this. God has brought me through a lot of different things that used to weaken me. Now they double empower me. By learning to sacrifice and doing things without worry, without fear, my stranded my strandedness has turned into a strand of trust. And this trust has caused me to walk closer with the Lord. It has evolved, reshaped, and revealed the hidden gems of Jesus in my life. And I'm living in this shine that is marvelous. And I'm in love with the Father for it. I glorify the Father for it. I bless Him for it. And you know, as I tap into deep concentration methods, I see, you know, I feel a strength and I speak upon from that strength. From that pond, from what the Father is revealing, from the heart of Christ, from the love of life, from the passion and zeal, from and it 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 catches things. I, you know, my mind. I want to like. I don't know why. I feel like that. There's these hidden feelings that seem like a construction of hindrances that are dissolving, melting, diminishing, and God is putting a pour in there, putting an oil there, putting perfume there, putting anointing there, putting strength there, putting the cream there, putting the life there, putting the vitality there, um, taking out the rags, getting the roaches away, getting the rats away, and just breathing into my lower, deeper foundation, my hiddenness, life. And, you know, life, it is a precious substance. It is a spiritual um, pattern. It is a way. And there's things in life, you know, I just want to talk about life and it's and all these images in my mind are there. The more I attune myself to the light of God, I have all these images and these presentational powers that rise and they grasp divine things and they expand and my consciousness comes together and it just elaborates the, the scrolls of God and I can detect what the Father is doing in the moment. I can feel and discern and speak a word, a now word, not just encouraging people in the Lord, but I can speak a now word directly from the Father and put it into a position of the principality and break the crown, the demonic throne and crown off a person's life. And I can beat it and break it and speak it until the power becomes so overwhelming that it crushes them, that it causes them to come into a corner of realization, a corner where they drop to their knees and get it and get it and get it and get it. So now I'm just not learning how to move in the spirit on my own. I'm teaching, I'm learning to teach people how to get it, get it. If I got to do it by force, if I got to surpass likeness, what they like, what they don't like and not worry if they get mad or not. And I just, just choose to move in the power. I can get them to break and I can get them to get it. And so I, I now have different categories in life that before I would try to sweep them away just to be organized, but God keeps them there to keep an opening for me. So if I'm traveling down this place, I'll be like, wait, Betty lives here. Susie lives here. Maybe I should stop by and visit them. Or if I'm traveling over there, wait a minute, this, this brother lives here. This person lives here. This per Let me go check on them. And he wants to open that up to me everywhere, everywhere I go. There should be an opening. So he's teaching me how not to close anything, how to open everything and leave it open and let it work for itself. Let it work on its own. Work on it a little bit and let that system flow for itself because you never know. The Bible says you never know what will happen in that place. This might only have one dollar. This might have $20,000, but in one year, this $20,000 went to $600, and that $1 went to $28,000, $30,000. You never know the system. You never know how the minus might turn into a multiplication. You never learn, know one person might take this and send it to a million. You might have a million here. They all begin to d uh, delete. It, it goes away somewhere, but this begins to go into more structures than that million, and then you got $17 million. You never know what's going to happen. 
That's why you should always have opportunities and lay things out and just and just scatter. That's why it talks about that's why it talks about casting your bread on water. Because let 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 it flow to where you don't know. Let it flow in the ocean. The ocean is infinite. Let all your ideals flow. Just call them up. Just let it flow. And it will return to you. One thing I love about investment, you will always get a return. You can never lose. People think you can lose an investment. Yeah, you might be able to lose money when you're not smart, but on a divine level, anytime you invest wisely, spiritually, you will always get a return. And so we've been investing wisely in wisdom. We've been investing in knowledge. We've been investing in, in connecting different streamings and different services on how we're going to, we've been investing on growth. Okay. These engines, they circulate into pathways. They accumulate. They enter into engines. Now the driver, the head, which is God, which is Christ, that significant sequence, it pours. There's an anointing in that, that pours and it goes down It down grades into the upgrade of the Material turning into supernatural. Material turning into supernatural. Get it? So you can literally transcend physical items. You can literally transcend like your human brain. You can literally transcend out of your physical flesh. You can literally try, you can literally transcend a thing, transcend an atmosphere, transcend a conversation, transcend human behavior. You have this kind of divine power inside of you. And within you, there is this masterpiece. Within you, there is this flourishing effect of all these different dimensions and levels and priorities that you can organ organization of priorities get you into the responsibility of the maturity of the head of God. So so because there's an entrance, see it's not just be organized, be wise. Like there's these introductional entrances into wisdom itself, into responsibilities, into stewardship itself. And it enters into this core molecule, which we can call God molecule, whatever you want to call it. You know there's DMT molecules inside of you. You don't have to do drugs. All the chemicals are inside of you that God himself put in there for you to feel good for you to, you know what I'm saying? So when you understand the ways of this and when you understand the sequence of numbers and when you understand the events of horizons and you combine these, you'll, you'll, you'll start to get the pyramid. You'll start to get the, the, all the ancient structures, which are the technological devices based off the connection and the energy of the solar system, which empowers certain they call them portals of opening because it's an open awareness. It's an open mentality. It's an open gateway. It's an open heaven. The Holy Spirit opened their mind so they could understand scripture. When you understand, open up your, open up you gateways, you ancient gate, you ancient doors open up, open up to me and the King of glory will enter. So there is a, there is an opening up power. Okay. And so if you can open battery run out soon, that's fine. That's fine. So. If you can connect many things, if you can connect this to an opening and connect this to an opening, but then get another opening with no connections, but take the opening of all connections into that opening, well, then you'll expand openings and openings and openings and openings and openings and connections. You'll go past connection to opening. You'll no longer begin to just have to connect things, although you can still do that because you know you labor in the spirit. Laboring in the spirit is actually vacation in the spirit. That's the secret. Okay. You know how many people get paid millions of dollars just to talk? They're so filled with knowledge. People pay just to hear them speak. You want to get to that point because you want to become a walking tank of wisdom. You want to become a reservoir of knowledge. And even if it don't feel good, every day of your life, find ways to feel, to not just feel, but to receive. Because if you're feeling but not receiving, or not getting the meaning, not getting the essence of what you're... And you have to be in a mode. See, when you gain knowledge, you don't just, oh, I'm reading a book, that's boring. You have to get in a mode. Me, personally, I fast. I don't eat food for three days. When I do this, my flesh starts to melt. Like, my physical limitations start to deteriorate. And then when, when, I, when I'm watching a video, it doesn't matter what video it is... It's so, it just enters my spirit. Like when I, when I listen to the Bible, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm deep on a fast, everything becomes so like open to me. And, and so that's the most important time for me to just receive as much wisdom. I watch interviews. I watch pastors. I watch preachers. I watch prophets. I watch spiritual teachers. I watch gurus. I watch money people, people that have lots of money. I watch different people. I watch s sinners. I'll watch them and pray for them that they'll receive Christ. I watch every human being and just reach them in Christ. And I just watch, I watch how to write books, how to make movies. I want to know how, I want to know the mindset of the director. I want to know how the universe 
works. I want to know the secret of the sun. I want to know the secret of God. I want to know the opening. I want to know how to make my life more powerful. And I'll sit there and I'll have so many receptions because I'm, I'm actually receiving, not just hearing. But when you receive it deep in your heart, remember the Bible tells you it, it, there's such there's the one of my favorite. Everything about Jesus is my favorite. I'm so in love with Jesus. He, he's, he's a master entwining spirit. Jesus is a mastering entwined spirit. So you have to unravel. That's why he covers himself in parables. The Bible talks about he covers himself in darkness because he's a master entwining spirit. Okay, so the shrine of him has to be unfolded for you to get the expression of his light. He's so masterful in his being. You can't, you can't, he, so when you see him, you're seeing some of the most amazing architectural, spiritual architecture you've ever witnessed in your life. Oh, God. Yeah, but I just want to apologize if my videos weren't presentable. I'm going to start making, okay, because this is important to me. Posterity will serve him. It will be told to generations about the Lord. They will come and declare his righteousness to a people yet to be born that he has acted. We're already transforming lives that haven't even been born yet. Now, in life, there are levels to choice. This is the thing you got to understand. Anybody that goes to hell, it's not because God is bad. It's not because he was, it's not because he's a serious, they, they chose it. The Lord, the Lord, cause I, I'm always praying. Why do people, I want to, I really want to know why would people not want to serve God? Okay. Maybe their parents didn't teach him. I understand. It feels good to have, I understand. I know the sinful life. I have okay. But, and so the Lord was showing me in life, there are levels to choice and everybody what be in a higher degree of having to choose the truth. And there's many people, they've devoted themselves to rebellion. They've devoted themselves and they've chosen that. Okay? But in life, there are higher levels of choice. And the closer you get to a death, the closer you get to the end of your life, the more God is going to come upon you and plead with you. So it's not, you cannot blame God for any bad. You can't blame him at all. He showed me that and that really touched me. Now I think I'm going to be able to help people more. Because, because see, God likes to answer off the basis of your life. He likes to reveal off the intentions of your life. Now, this is a secret deeper place in God. Because you might, got, you might say, God, give me knowledge on this just to make me smart. But the deep intention of it is because you just want to be, you want people to like you. You want girls to like you. You, want, you know, but when the intention and the desire becomes to change the lives of people, to win souls, now you'll get the intentional answer of God. Now you'll get the desirable truth of answer of God because you're turning your desire and intentions on a God level. So now you'll get the intentions of God. Now you'll get the mind of God. Now you'll get the answer of God. Now you'll get the result of God immediately while the other people are still struggling because their intentions are still real carnal, mine. And God will still bless you. Remember, I know I talk a lot about deep things here, but just because you're not so devoted to Christ, you're not one, doesn't mean God's, not, so if I ever can, you know what I'm saying, doesn't mean God's not going to bless you. I'm just telling you deep stuff here. I care about people, man. And uh, I'm too blessed in my life. Like, I'm so blessed. I, I think if you, if in life, if you don't, if you don't realize how blessed you are now, then you may never realize it. If you could realize right now how blessed you are, and just focus on that instead of focusing on, oh, I don't have a boyfriend. I want to have sex. I don't have money. Please stop that. Please just focus on how blessed you are, how amazing God is, how thankful, how much light, how you have light. You can go wherever you want. You have money. You have food. And just magnify that. And you will live in the magnification of joy. You, you know. Do you know the highest level of powers are already living inside of us? Do you know the power, the power of value? You have all this money, all this worldly success, but if you have not mastered and magnified the power of value, you have nothing. You have the power of open discussion. You have the power of exercising authority where the entire universe will obey you in the order of that authority. Okay? And so you're still trying to just trying to blame the universe, blame, blame what has given you all power. So you keep blaming the universe and God when they've given you all power in Christ. So when you blame God, you're blaming all the power you have and it backfires on you.
God don't got to do nothing. He don't got to strike you down, be mad at you. You you just you just blame the fact. You see, you say you didn't get something, and you just rejected that you had everything. You just blame you you're blaming that you blaming other people, but you're blaming them. You're blaming them when you have all power. So you're giving all the power to that blame in them, and you're fueling Satan. You're fueling your problems. Oh Jesus, don't you love wisdom? Don't you love? I'm about to go in my room and just oh Jesus. Again, glass and ice. Now that I have this one glass jar, I fill it with ice. Now I have I have this organic um, tea that I'm drinking. I have this while I fast because when I fast, my taste something was wrong with my taste. Um, or I don't know what happened when I met this guy that looked like a bum, but he was an angel. But um, but um, but um, okay. Now I'm transcending because the heat, I'm no longer feel temperature. Like I am opening the door, but now the heat is no longer bothering me. I'm transcending this atmosphere. I'm transcending this pressure. I'm transcending this heat. So while other people are sweating, they can't take it. I'm just thriving. See, you th you're not thriving because you're more special to God than anybody else. You've been accelerating. You've been in the pressure. So when you're thriving while everybody else is crying, whining, complaining, it's not because why, why are you so strong? Because you chose to grow in God. You chose to complain. You chose to grow. That's why you walking on a different level of strength. That's why you got so much money. Like, I cannot tell you there is wealth coming all over my life. Like, there are angels bringing me wealth. I keep seeing these angels with wealth, and I keep seeing these designs and these blueprints of wealth and systems. And I keep just, and, I, and, and God is like just, oh, he's just opening up door after door and door after my life, okay? And I, before I told God, I want these videos to be more powerful. And the Lord was like, no, 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 no. What you truly desire. And sometimes you don't know what you desire. You got to ask God, what do I desire? Because God is the one that gave you desire and it came from him. So you got to ask God. what. So he's like, no, it's not that you want your videos to be more powerful. It's that you want a greater reach of the power you already possess. So he was telling me all these things. He's like, nah, see, you think you, think you want that. But this is what you truly desire. Let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. When you learn how to get yourself in positions where you are helpless by yourself, you'll get you'll get you'll get a miracle. So a lot of times, one one way I pray to God, where I'm starting a new way that I'm starting to pray to God, where I'm getting results, is like Lord, Lord, if you don't like, it's total dependency prayer, Lord. Like if you don't come, like like if you don't come on this video, if you don't talk to me, like I'm not, and, and I just like let everything go. I don't have anything else I'm dependent on, my God, and I'm starting to get results like that. Like like Lord, if you don't show up here, like like you have to show up. Don't you understand? Like you, and I start talking to God like that, and He loves it. I get results now. It's a new way I'm, I'm presenting myself when I go to God's throne. And I'm getting results. I'm getting results. God is happy. Okay. Um, we completed our organic Runa pineapple energy drink. Remember, I have a health business. I'm going to start putting it in the link in the description. The health business I have. I'm going to start promoting health, promoting preachers and pastors. I'm going to start promoting some of the most powerful things I can think of. And all you got to do is click the button at the bottom. And you'll immediately get access. Okay, we growing in our business, Lord. And remember, I, I, when I come here, I'm gonna give you everything. I ain't the mother, and I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm not these other people that hide their secrets. I will tell you everything I know for free. But yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm so oh God, I can't. I don't know how many times you you start to realize how passionate you are because you realize how passionate God is, and then you become the passion of His passion, and you become the passion of Christ. Okay, because He's so passionate. But I come so in love with health, organic energy drink. It says, clean energy. It says, clean energy from a leaf, not a lab. If you can see it. Clean energy from a leaf, not a lab. I have organic... Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I have organic pear juice. Organic pear juice, which is really awesome. Now I'm going to start putting my health business because what I do is I take these health, I'm gonna, I take these health products from Amazon. I buy them and then I retake the pictures. They're brand new in 4k because I want it to be 4k. I put them on my website and then every time, and then I promote them through Facebook ads I promote them by sending the link uh, to people. And when people click on it and buy it, I get a cut. I get a measure. I get a portion. 
And then I use that money to invest more into the kingdom of God. And this is what people don't get. They think by, they think, well, that means I can't invest in myself. That's a lie. When you invest in your health and wisdom, you're investing into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven lives within you. A lot of people get scared when we start talking about that. They're like, but I want to buy this. You're supposed, you should want to buy health. You're supposed to want to buy knowledge. You're investing in the kingdom when you do that. I think because people don't understand that, their mind becomes, their mind's like this. It, it runs from each other. Instead of their thoughts doing this, ding, connect, ding. Their, their thoughts do this when Jesus speaks. Oh, no. But then I'm not going to be able to invest in myself. But I want to buy beauty products. But I want to buy makeup. But I want to buy health. You can still do. I can hear my voice. Like my voice is on another, another level. My speech is saturated by the things of God. But now, because I've been watching preachers on YouTube so long, I want to start like traveling. If I got to travel to Dallas to get to a powerful pastor, then I'm going to do that. I'm going to start locating wherever the glory of God is, whatever man of God like this is, and I'm going to start going to their churches. And because I'm a photographer, I'm going to start recording church services. I really do like there's this there's this um Fiverr and this app. If you pay them eight hundred a thousand dollars, they'll create like a, a video game for you, uh, a cell phone game. I want to create like a Jesus game. But I want it to be so filled with knowledge and wisdom and insight and beautiful music and and I want it to be, you know what I'm saying? I want to create I really want to create like this awesome video game about Jesus, about the Bible and just your walking and discovery and puzzles and algorithms and music and weapons and you're defeating demons and you get all these different attributes vitality upgrade um you you get a mansion that you get to upgrade you get uh you get to experience heaven and and different locations in heaven and and, and I want it to be like that and a lot of times your ideals oops I just think I just opened up my gas tank A lot of times your ideals will manifest into a person. A person will come along. Dude, this is the secret though. A lot of times we pray some of the greatest opportunities are right in front of our face. Like you, you're at a job right now. You think it's a dead end job, but you don't know there's a person at your job that God is going to use them to be the greatest producer ever. There's a person at your job that has secret wisdom on the universe. There's a per So you need to never, ever rush out of your now. You may want a better job, more money. That's cool. Pray to God about it. See what he does. But never, I've had to learn. I've learned through wisdom, through trial. Like the diamonds are right in front of your face. One guy, he, had, he was looking for diamonds and all the diamond mine was under his house. It's an incredible book. They, they wrote a book about it. They, people still teach about it, how this guy, there was an entire diamond mining field under his house and all, all everything he was looking for was right there. Didn't even know. And that's a perfect, I think God did that on purpose. Let Allow that to happen on purpose to show us, to show them it's right where you're at. Don't rush out of anything. Well, that looks cool. Okay. Now, I love it because I'm on YouTube right now. And I'm just clicking on all these new wisdom videos, spiritual videos, videos about God. And I'm just clicking on as many as I can and just, just scrolling through everything. Different different personalities, different pastors, different preachers, different different wisdom, different locations, different knowledge, different ways to make money. I'm just learning about everything and I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with learning. I'm in love with knowledge. I'm in love with wisdom. I can just, I just, I just, I just can eat it all day. That's what I eat when I'm fasting. This is spiritual energy, spiritual food, spiritual strength you get. And then as you get, see when this, when, when the stream of this knowledge enters your body, 
it will do it will give you different ideals it will make you feel different levels of strength because the bible says a man that grows in knowledge he grows in strength see knowledge and wisdom make you stronger and stronger and stronger and, and not just stronger financially stronger mentally stronger spiritually stronger in um, devotion stronger in the love you make to your wife stronger in the way you worship god stronger here stronger here and then it does it begins to connect with wisdom and wisdom begins to reward you accordingly and crown you and give you grace and different graces are poured out in wisdom and then as you love you got to fall in love with wisdom and then understanding is the principle of life where you get to expel demonic powers. The more you understand the principle of God, the oracle of God awakens in your conscience and it expels demonic powers without you doing anything. It is There's a light that unlocks in you that just melts demons without you saying anything. Okay? So the more you understand, the more you rise in the principle of life. Because wisdom, that's the principle. All you're getting, get understanding. So you need at your job, if you have a job for eight hours, you need to be earning understanding. One thing I do at my job, or I used to do, I don't really do it anymore. If I would just listen and be in this state of surrender, insight would come to me. Prophetic insight would come to me. Knowledge would come to me. Something about when I'm operating in movement, but stilling my being. And so I would write it down on my cell phone. And I think I'm going to, if I'm going to start doing this because when I'm at my job and I listen for insight, I get so much insight straight from God, straight from the throne, not from a book I'm reading, not from a, a service I went to straight from the throne of God. God will reveal things to me. And I start writing them down on messenger and I want to start uh, speaking off them. That's why I'm going to get another cell phone and I'm going to really devote myself to a deeper revelation. See, God is, God is, see, you have to go through stages. You want to be this great prophet, but you have to go through this. You want a, the stage of a servant. You have to go through the stage of, of, of being young. You don't just go from being a babe to an adult. So it's the same thing spiritually. You have a physical life and you have a spiritual life. You might be 30 years old. I, I, I wasn't, the Lord told me you weren't truly born until you dedicated your life to me seven years ago. And so just because you've been doing this seven years, you're still young and you're growing, okay? Don't try to rush it. Don't base your spiritual life off your physical life. See, when you truly lay your life down to God, that's when you're truly born. Okay? So I've only been doing, I've only been, I've devoted my life to Christ. I laid my life down to God seven years ago, but but I'm still growing. I'm growing. And I don't, I don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. If you would stop rushing, you'd have more peace, you'd have more joy, you'd get more revelation, you'd get more insight, your life would be more saturated in me, you'd be finding my presence more, you'd be experiencing my glory more, you'd get more opportunity, you'd get more knowledge, you'd get more downloads, you'd get more blessing, because it's in the state of peace where you receive all of me. It's in the state of peace where you receive all of me, you know? And, uh, man, I don't want this video to die. That's why I'm going to have to get another phone. I don't want this video to die. Oh, and I am going to invest, I am going to start renting I can see now you can rent 5k and 8k cameras. I'm going to start when I get, see, I think what I need to do, I'm going to promote this channel, promote my business and I'm going to get millions. I'm going to reach hundreds of thousands. I'm going to learn how to travel more and upgrade my car, upgrade my vehicle. And then I'm going to start renting like 5k, 8k cameras and I'm going to go around and take 5k of new cameras. And then when new technology comes out, like I'm going to utilize it for the glory of God, but I'm going to show people the things of God and I'm going to learn how to tap into every category. Oh my God, when you serve God, see, see, this is the thing. Serving God isn't just serving God because he gives you things. It is a devotion, even if he doesn't give you nothing. Let me give you a secret. When you no longer want physical things, 